Hey Clean Freaks and German folks, what's up you guys? Today I'm going to be testing a method to clean your oven that has totally gone viral. It's based off of a video that has over 7 million views and the video says that you can clean your oven in five minutes. Now I have cleaned a lot of ovens and I've tried a lot of different methods and I have yet to see anything that comes even close to that. And today I'm gonna test that out. And I'm honestly really excited about this method because if it works, this might become my new go-to method. So I'm gonna test it out right now but first if you're new to clean freaking German phobe, we love to clean and organize and disinfect try out new products so if you're new here make sure to hit subscribe hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of our future videos so this method requires only two ingredients and that is vinegar and baking soda and we've actually tried cleaning ovens with baking soda and vinegar before and it works great but not five minutes but this particular method requires one extra step and so let's get into that so when they say five minutes that doesn't mean necessarily start to finish there's some prep work that you need to do but as far as actually scrubbing they say just five minutes so I think that's pretty cool so what we're gonna do first is we are going to mix up some vinegar baking soda and water so let's get going okay so this recipe was not exact they basically just threw a bunch of baking soda into a bowl they added some water let me put some water in here all right I just put a little bit in and then they added some vinegar basically what you want is just a pasty consistency it's always my favorite part I love the smell of the vinegar and the baking soda so we've got this nice kind of paste so let's check out the oven this is not the worst oven I've seen by any means but and I think a lot of people's ovens probably look pretty similar to this but it definitely needs a good cleaning so this is perfect to try out this method looks like it's got some stuff on the side I'm not gonna work on the racks today they don't look that bad actually but I have done a video on how to clean oven racks so I will link that in the video description if you want to clean your racks check that out too all right let's get started here we go first thing we do is just get out any debris anything that's loose this is where i wish that i had my handheld dyson i did not bring that to this house so we are just going to wipe this out so now we're going to take this paste and we're basically going to put it everywhere that the mess is Honestly, the glass here is the worst. So we're gonna make sure to get this really good. Some of this might be in between the glass. I'm just gonna get a regular sponge and I'm just gonna spread this around. As with any time you're cleaning an oven, make sure that you don't get any of the cleaning solution, whatever it is you're using. Don't get it near the coils. Don't get it near the heating elements or the light bulbs, anything electrical you wanna be careful around. So that's the prep that we needed to do. That doesn't really count, I guess, in the five minute time frame. So here's the next step. So here's what I'm gonna do. So the instructions say to leave the bowl in the oven. So I just put one rack back in here. I'm gonna put the bowl, which still has some more baking soda and vinegar right in here. And then I'm gonna turn the oven on for 100 degrees and let it heat for 45 minutes. Once that 45 minutes is done, that's when the five minute timer kind of starts. So I'm gonna turn it on, leave it for that 45 minutes. We'll be back and we'll see how it works. So it turns out that this oven doesn't go as low as 100. It only goes to 170. That's the lowest that it's gonna go. So I think what I'll do is just open the door periodically just to let out a little bit of the heat. I don't think the purpose is to cook the baking soda paste onto the oven. So that's how I'm gonna try to get through that to try to keep the temperature a little bit lower than 170. So this oven has only been on for five minutes and I can already see that baking soda is starting to dry on there. I don't think it's really supposed to do that. It's nearly double the temperature that the instructions say to do. So I'm just going to crack that door open. I'm going to keep that open here to keep the temperature a little bit cooler than 170. All right, so here this is after sitting for 45 minutes. That's not too hot. It's a little hot. I just set the timer for five minutes and I'm going to dive right in because I want to know if this is going to work. Well, it is cleaning up. That was my five minute timer. I'm not done. Maybe halfway done. 
I'm gonna set the timer again because I wanna see how long it will take. Okay, so I now have a stopwatch going to see how much longer than five minutes this is going to take. All right, well, I'm definitely doing a lot of scrubbing. I don't think how to clean an oven in five minutes is uh, quite accurate with this. I think a more accurate title would be how to clean an oven in 10 to 20-ish minutes or maybe how to clean a small, small mess in five minutes or something along those lines. But this is definitely taking a lot more than five minutes still. I think there might be something to having some heat along with the baking soda and vinegar to help kind of augment the cleaning process. But you still can't get away from the scrubbing, that's for sure. The glass definitely looks a ton better. If you want to see how to clean in between the glass, we have a video about that. Janet did one. I'm going to put that in a card above right here. Check that out. That's a great way to really deep clean the oven. One thing I forgot to bring when I came over here was microfiber cloths. I use them all the time in my cleaning. I will link to them in my video description. I can't imagine life without microfiber cloths. Oh, well, wait, actually I can't. I'm doing that right now and it's no fun. I highly recommend picking some up. They're great for all kinds of cleaning. I use them all the time. I will link to them in the video description. Check that out if that's something that you're interested in. It's just nice to have a good quality microfiber cloth that doesn't fall apart and that does a good job of cleaning. Ah! Did you see that? I just dripped my hair in the gross water. Oh, gross. <laughs> Oh, did you see that right there? That's so nasty. Did you see this water? <laughs> yeah, that's what my hair just dipped in. <laughs> Let's move that. All right, we're getting about close to done here. I don't even wanna look at that stopwatch. Okay, so I hit the stopwatch at 22 minutes. I don't know if you can see that, 22 minutes. That's not including the five minutes that I initially started with. So 27 minutes to do that five minute job. So I get why they would say how to clean an oven in five minutes. That's way more catchy than saying how to clean an oven in 27 minutes. There are a few little spots right here that I'm gonna get and I'm gonna use my uh, pumice stone. That's kind of my secret weapon if there's any last little pieces that won't come off with my regular cleaning. If you haven't used a pumice stone on an oven before, I just recommend that you try it out in an inconspicuous spot first. Just make sure it doesn't scratch it and the secret is to make sure use lots and lots of water with the pumice stone but it's great for getting off uh, really really stuck on burnt on stuff so I'm gonna grab a few pieces of that and then I think that will be about it oh and I will also show you the final result too there's the glass that looks so much better this is not perfect by any means but this is a lot better than what we started with I'm pretty happy with that and I hope they are too well, that wraps up today's video. I hope that you liked it. I wish that this had worked better than it claimed to. It did not clean in five minutes time. It took a lot more scrubbing than I expected to do. So baking soda and vinegar is a good cleaner. I was hoping that applying the heat to the process would make it be even better, but unfortunately, at least from my experience, it didn't. That being said, I am gonna put the link of the original video in the video description down below. The YouTube channel is called Cleverly. I thought the video did a great job, so go check them out if you want to. Again, if you're new to Clean Freaking Germaphobe, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of our future videos. Oh, and hey, give this video a thumbs up because we tried, and that's what we do, is we try different methods to help you and to help us know what works the very best. Right here, or at the end of this video, I'm gonna put a link to my video of where I cleaned the dirtiest, greasiest stove I have ever seen in my entire life. It was literally 10 years of grease buildup and we cleaned it up amazingly well using ammonia. So click on that video and I will see you over there.